So I just wanted to show you a little bit around our new room here in Ubud. Good morning. Today we're going to take a taxi to Ubud. Now we're at Sanur, which is a similar sort of distance to the airport here in uh, Bali, uh, up to Ubud. There are a number of options. You can jump in a regular blue taxi, a blue bird taxi. Um, that might be a little expensive. Uber don't really operate here in Indonesia, but there are two uh, competitors to Uber, that is Grab and Gojek. Uh, I hadn't come across Gojek before, it's particularly Indonesian as far as I know, but it's a fantastic service. You can order food, you can order shopping online, there's so much you can do with it, but most of all, you can order uh, the little scooter bikes or uh, taxis for four people or six people, so smaller or large taxis, very much the same as Grab. I'm going to have a look this morning. What's the difference between the price if I decide to get a Grab taxi or a, a Gojek car from our hotel here up to Ubud and just make a comparison. I think they might be quite similar, but it'd be interesting to have a look. So there you have it. In this instance, Gojek is working out cheaper. It's a fantastic app. You can actually download this in your home country and have a little practice with it. It seemed to work for me in Australia anyway when I was having a look at it. So you can you can sort of drag the map around and calculate some um, some journeys before you even come here. Gojek is a fantastic app. It's not sponsored at all. I'd never heard of it before I set off to Indonesia. Um, uh, we've used it to order food to our hotel room, super cheap, maybe two, three dollars a dish, and somebody delivers it straight to your door. It's a, a great app. Grab also is a fantastic app. I've used that all over Southeast Asia. I will leave links down below to the apps if you want to check them out. You can uh, go directly and download the apps. So this is the taxi that Gojek has sent to us, and this. The driver is going to take us all the way up to Ubud, so that's cool. Hello. Hello. Can I film? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. How are you? Good. What's your name? Amy. And you? Amy? Yes. Steve, Amy. Steve. So. It's first time come to Bali? Ah, uh, first time to Indonesia. Ah. Oh. First time. Okay. You work in Australia? This? Yes. This Australian hat. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I've a, been there. The Cobra. Yeah. Cobra, yeah. Just yeah. been to Brisbane, ah, Sydney. Okay. Uh, I've been there. Yeah, this is uh, my Aussie hat. Yeah. So we're off to Ubud. Um, do you know the weather in Ubud is a bit cooler? Or? A bit cooler than in Bazaar. Yeah. Sometime in the evening. Yeah. So the weather might be a little cooler. We will see. And uh, we've changed our mind. We actually were going to go to the islands, to uh, Nusa Chenegan. Chenegan, yes. But I decided not. It's it's very touristic, a bit hot. Yes. Yeah. Nusa Chenegan, yes. Yeah, so we changed plan. Oh, nice Toyota. Nice uh, DK1 DC. How long are you already in Bali? Uh, we will be here for maybe one month. Already? Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm good. Yeah, good. Chicken man. <laughs> Chicken man, come on. Galunan. Yeah. Galunan. Yeah, Galunan is the Balinese Christmas, and it was uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, two months ago. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, every year Galunan. we celebrate twice. Ah, okay. So yes, two Christmases. Every six months. That's greedy. Yeah. This is a. Uh... Do you eat a lot of food? Yeah. Chocolate pig. Okay, so that's why they have two Christmases. Mm -hmm. Galunan. Yes. Is it the same name? Yeah, Galunan. Galunan and Galunan. Galunan. Yeah, Not Galunan. Galunan 1, Galunan 2. It's no, the same. No, no, no. They're just Galunan. Ah, okay. Every 210 yes. days. So it's different every year. Every year is different time. Different time, different yeah. time, different time. Okay. Depend on the days. So Galunan is celebrated every 210 days and it's <laughs> it can change because. Uh, there are more, there's 365 days in one year, so it can change each year. Yes. Ah, interesting. Fascinating. And the reason I was asking this is because, I don't know if we can see on the road, but there are these... Um, uh, penjor, arched, we call it penjor. 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 Yes. Penjor. Penjor. Yes, penjor. So there's lots of penjors hanging on the roadside. It's a bamboo stick with a... Uh, 
banana leaf. Uh, sorry, coconut leaf. Coconut leaves, yeah, and then uh, some decoration yes. on here. And so they're covering the whole of the the bamboo. A little bit of tying the grass. bamboo and the gold or yellow can I hold You can see down here the whole of the bamboo pole. It's covered in the gold. And then they'll continue to decorate the pendure with um, banana leaves. Just make it look really beautiful. This is going to stand outside every house in this suburb, for want of another word. Uh, everybody that belongs to this temple for the celebrations, a pendure will hang and often you'll see pendure hanging um, that have been there for a long time, maybe from a previous uh, celebration. So they're getting old maybe and weathered. But initially when the, fre when the celebrations are fresh, you have the beautiful colors, the vibrant colors. Now here, dad has uh, all the little strips of bamboo this is for tying up and then this knife here now this is a Balinese knife you see them using it it's uh, honed on one side so just on the one edge it's very sharp has a beautiful wooden handle and this is this will have done a lot of work over the years so throughout the day uh, Dad is going to be the father of Endong. Uh, he's going to be decorating the pendure down the little lane on the side of the house. Dad has gone and bought out some of these fronds. Would they be called fronds? The grasses. And he's cutting. He's shredding them down. Split them down the middle with another knife, a different knife. And he will tie these on uh, to the pendure. So he tie them on with the strips of bamboo. And eventually you're gonna have this, uh, this beautiful, almost like a flag or a pennant that hangs outside the front of the house. Now that's a bigger version of this knife. And you see, because the, the blade is honed on one side, so there's just one plane, one angle on the knife, it makes it really good if you're using that sort of knife for uh, cutting or trimming the edge of bamboo or something like that, because it would, if the two sides are planed, if they come like this, then the tendency for the knife to go into the wood rather than just pull the wood away, very similar to when you're using a wood plane. So now that is tying on the grasses. Okay, and now he's going to weave this round. So he's actually tying it round. But you'll notice, I think you can see there, that he's actually leaving the, one of a better word, the wings or the, the leaf. So it's going to add a lot of volume to the pendure. See? Oh. Oh, sorry. Hello. You can help him. I am. You can help him. Thank you. So all the time Dad is working here, 
still got to put up with the traffic, the bikes coming through. Now he's doing a, a second twist. So giving it more volume. Okay, so we're arriving in Ubud. This is Ubud. Uh, I will just film a little bit here. So how far is our hotel from here? Maybe five kilos. Five. Okay, a few minutes. The oh, Monkey yeah. Forest. We will pass Monkey Forest. Okay. That's the main street. It's the center of Ubud. So it looks pretty busy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still looks touristy. A lot of touristy here. A lot of tourists. Mm -hmm. But interesting. So this is Emmy. Emmy. Emmy drives with one hand. <laughs> she drives very well with one hand. And I'm going to put her information below on the video so uh, you can contact Emmy when you come here if you need a very friendly, sweet driver. Uh, Emmy can show you around. She also does a, a tour service so she can take you around for the whole day. Um, I'll, I'll leave the details down below. Yeah. Wayan. 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 Yeah. We have arrived yeah. at Wayan's yeah. place. My so it's cool. Young, younger brother. <laughs> uh, younger brother just yeah, coming into my house exactly thank you very so much i'm glad to welcome in my and you taught me one new word selamat datang selamat datang yeah, welcome, selamat datang welcome to omang agus thank you for the night right yes we are not sure how long we're staying we're more. we're planning each day so this is nice as a courtyard. Hello. How are you? So I just wanted to show you a little bit around our new room here in Ubud. It's really beautiful actually. The bed's huge. The air conditioner is lovely and cool. Uh, the paintings on the wall, these beautiful paintings here, are actually painted by the father of uh, uh, the family at this hotel they're staying in the front so i just met the father very briefly and he does all these paintings they are quite amazing so it's a nice bathroom clean an open shower a bit of a rain a rainfall shower there which is a nice change so it seems you can get really good value uh, hotels or guest house here in Ubud as well so uh, we're quite pleased with this at the moment we're just staying a couple of days we might extend it a little bit longer um, they've even got uh, adapters in the wall, which is uh, a bit of a surprise. First, we call Wayan. Okay. Wayan. Wayan. Second, Madi. 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 The spelling is made in English. Made. Okay. okay. So Madi. M A D E. Madi. Yeah. And third, Nyoman. 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 M. The last letter. Nyoman. Nyoman. Yeah. And fourth, Ketut. Ketut. Ketut, yeah. K E T U T. I've seen Ketut. this. Ketut. Ketut. Yeah. And number five, back to Wayan. Ah, ah okay. <laughs> number six, my baby. That's we call Wayan Balik. Okay. Yeah, that back. Wayan Balik. Ah. So, if you meet uh, like uh, Balinese people, still they say, my name is Wayan. So, that's uh, their name uh, in your family. Yeah number one or number five. Yeah, you say Wayan Balik, number five. Only Wayan, that's me, first. 